Hey guys, I'm Justin Z, and I'm going to show you how to make your eyes look really, really cool using only some simple techniques and some photos from Google. So this tutorial is just another fun way to make your eyes look cool. I'm going to change the color and incorporate an element to make them look more interesting. A little inhuman, if you will. You see this a lot in uh, movie posters with different effects in their eyes. So here we go. So we're going to use the pen tool, zoom in on that eye, and just select around the eye. Normally I'd do it with curves, but I'm just going to do this real fast so you get an idea. Okay, there we go. Now right click and say make selection. Make sure the feather radius is 5 pixels, or depending on how big your image is. If it's smaller, you want less pixels. Press OK. And then press Command J to duplicate it and make a separate layer, which is just the eye. Now we're going to take that layer. We're going to go to Layer, New Adjustment Layer, Hue and Saturation. You can also do it right here. It's much faster and easier. Press OK. And press this little button so only the uh, eye layer is affected. Now I'm just going to make it red. So I'm going to change the hue so it resembles red, wherever that may be. Right there, and then up the saturation. And that'll do. Now, what I want you to do is go to Google and find some sort of texture, high resolution texture, that has kind of a rounded circular effect to it, like the front view of a fan or a tree stump, which is what I found. I found a tree stump ring. So I'm going to bring this in and throw it on top of the layer. Now you'll notice it automatically makes the selection for you and you can move it wherever you want. Drop the opacity to 50% so you can see what you're doing. Put the middle of the ring inside the retina. And then we change the blend mode to multiply. That way it gets rid of the inside. And if you really want to stay consistent with it, go ahead and grab your eraser tool and get rid of the middle. And now we have this really cool effect. You can do this with anything you want. You can take any effect you want. You can take your own picture that you've created yourself for your own specific purposes. But basically, that's how you do it. It's pretty simple, and it's a lot of fun. Thanks for watching, guys. If you have any questions or requests about Photoshop, please send them to requests at mahalo.com. And please be sure to also rate, comment, and subscribe below.